the right to import your belongings to Uruguay tax-free. This means once you have your residency approved, by law, the person has six months to move their personal effects to Uruguay without paying duties and taxes. In this interview, we'll discuss the benefits of being a legal resident. I'm going to be interviewing Nicole Schmidt, who is a relocation specialist with Sierra Atlantica. Sierra Atlantica is a relatively new recommendation here at Uruguay. They help businesses and individuals relocate. And what I love about them is that they're all very young and eager to provide really great customer service. They also have really good contacts. Before the pandemic, people would often say to me, what's the point of having residency in Uruguay? Because they could come and go, they could leave for after three months, go to Argentina and then come back and get a new stamp in their passport. But then, of course, we know that during the pandemic, it became absolutely obvious because even people that had property here, if they weren't citizens or residents, they couldn't come in and the borders were closed for 19 months. So you're here to talk to us about other benefits of getting residency in Uruguay. Yes, one main benefit is being able to travel freely around Mercosur with only the Uruguayan ID that you get with your Uruguayan residency. This means that many countries that you may need a visa if you don't have the Uruguayan ID, you won't need it. You won't need to be spending those, those costs. You only need the European ID, which is, you know, a main benefit there. Yeah, for example, a citizen from the United States would need to pay a bunch of money to get the, the visa to travel to Brazil. And in this case, you, you wouldn't need that. Only with the European ID, you don't pay anything and you get uh, to travel around there freely. You leave your passport at home and you travel yeah, exactly. to Bayern Cedula. <laughs> All right, great. Well, so that's yeah. a really useful one. Tell me about another one. Another one may be um, the right to import your belongings to Uruguay tax-free. This means once you have your residency approved, by law, the person has six months to move their personal effects to Uruguay without paying duties and taxes. This means like when you bring your belongings to Uruguay, you have some fees and guarantees you need to pay. But when you have the Uruguayan ID, all of these are then refunded to you. So you wouldn't need to be paying these costs. And um, just for you to have an idea, you have like two ways of paying these guarantees, either on a personal level or with the company if someone is hiring you here to work in Uruguay, but in any case, you would be free of these fees and guarantees. This would obviously need to be inside the six months after the, your residence is approved for you to have these fees and guarantees refunded. Yeah, and that's definitely an issue for people, right? Sometimes they miss that time period because it's not set in yeah. stone, is it? Yeah, but it is an enormous benefit for your residency just to have in mind that you have that time period to be able not to pay these costs. All right, cool. Um, what about for um, somebody involved in business here? In Uruguay, to work, you need to have the Uruguayan ID. And to have a business, you can have one. It's some certain businesses, you can have them without the Uruguayan ID. But for some, like, for example, a sole trader, you do need the Uruguayan ID. So, of course, in the business area, it has many benefits. It also makes everything easier. Another benefit may be being able to revalidate your foreign driver's license. This means you don't have to receive any tests. You just have to do maybe a, a small medical checkups, like they draw blood, reflex check. But then the driver's license is validated and you have a new Uruguayan driver's license with a Uruguayan ID, obviously. That's useful. And since we're in the area, you can also revalidate your foreign university degree with a Uruguayan ID. Um, this can be started at the same time as the residency because uh, revalidating your degree, it takes a little bit longer. And the Uruguayan ID is required like at the end of the process, so the timing would be right. But you uh, can revalidate your degree completely, or they may ask you to take an exam or two. Just to have an example, a doctor usually has to take some complement of legal medicine, public health, humanities, something like, like that. 
and then your degree is validated. My cousin had that happen and he said, because he's from Argentina and he's now working as a doctor here, and he said actually that was extremely useful to have to do those courses that were required for his revalidation because they were medical legal requirements that were very different to what is expected in Argentina compared to Uruguay. Yeah. And so it was really important for him to do yeah, that. Yeah, in every country it's, it's different. So it, it's always very useful if you have to take an extra exam. It's always to be able to work totally free here in Uruguay. Sure, sure. And uh, anything else regarding education? With higher education, you can study uh, at a public university without the Uruguayan ID, but to sit for exams, you do need the Uruguayan ID. So at the end of the day, you actually needed to be able to study and complete courses. Right, to get a qualification. Okay. Yeah. And um, I know that there's, uh, there's a difference with banking as well, right? Yeah. You can open a bank account as a foreigner or as a citizen, but it's always faster and easier to open them with the European ID. That would be another benefit. For sure. I remember when I got my ID, everything suddenly became easier from buying yeah. cinema tickets. To, I mean, practically, it's used exactly. a lot in Uruguay, Every right? process here in Uruguay, they just look at your European ID and, yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah from good. legal ones, but right, everything to do with, uh, you know, like just living general living and, and entertainment even right is linked yeah exactly and also having the Uruguayan ID and making all these processes in Uruguay with the Uruguayan ID obviously it helps to like organize um, everything you're doing here because if you do some things with the passport and some things with the Uruguayan ID they may make you trouble here in Uruguay but with the Uruguayan ID everything's like more legally organized and structured so if you're thinking about relocating to Uruguay, make sure you check out our website, guruguay.com, and hit the live button. Part of our work involves finding trusted service providers who love working with foreigners and demonstrate consistent quality. Providers like the ones you're listening to now. You'll find them listed in the live section, as well as hundreds of articles about Uruguay, South America's most charming and most stable nation. And make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash to never miss a new video.